Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Mula Boss Empowering Your E-Commerce Success. I'm your host Jeremy and today I want to talk about the top 7 mistakes to avoid when starting your Shopify store. So I'm not sure about you but there are thousands and thousands of people launching their online stores like every day and did you know that 99% of them fail? If you're one of these people and you don't know the secrets and the, the best practices when, doing, when running an e-commerce business, this video is for you. So just a little bit of backstory about myself. Um, I started building e-commerce stores in uh, about six years ago and without much success to be honest with you. But over the last few years experimenting and trying new stuff and uh, eventually quitting my job, I have discovered there are so many best practices out there that can skyrocket your chances of success with your Shopify store. So for point number one, the, the top mistake that a lot of people, uh, newbie online entrepreneurs commit to is actually having the build it and they will come mentality. If, if you think you build, after you build a Shopify store, the money will start rolling in. I'm sorry to break it to you, but it doesn't work that way. Uh, building an e-commerce store doesn't guarantee success. You, you, will be, you will need to know how to market your product first and foremost. So never ever have this build it and they will come mentality. You have to work for it, okay? So point number two is that a lot of uh, companies and new startup uh, Shopify entrepreneurs is that they don't put focus on branding and at the end of the day, they give a very uh, bad experience to the customers. You need to invest in your brand. You need to think it through what your brand represents, what, what do your products do, and who is your target audience. Having a, poor, having a well-constructed brand will go a long, long way to e-commerce success. So you need to put a lot of effort on your logo, on your website design, your messaging, your copywriting. It all needs to jive and it all needs to tell your company's story. Um, like for example, when I just started out with my e-commerce journey, I actually started drop shipping a lot of female clothing, Korean fashion, like it used to be hip. Um, but I, I focused a lot on price. So I drop shipped these products from a vendor in Penang, Malaysia, and I shipped I ship it all over Malaysia and I realized that without a proper brand, without proper product shots and all that, like all I can do to compete is to compete with pricing, which is a spot that you should never ever be in. Always build a brand, build a business that can run without you. Um, like in the future, like right now, like even when I'm asleep, sales keeps rolling in because I've provided a customer experience that my existing customers can expect from us. Like we provide a certain level of service and they know they're at the right place when they shop for certain products. So mistake number three that I most commonly see among uh, newbie entrepreneurs is that they do not treat their e-commerce store like a business. They treat it like a hobby, like a side income. Like you, you definitely need to treat your company like a, your e-commerce store like a business because it is one if you want any chance of succeeding. So when I was running that a whole Korean, Korean female clothing business, I was working a full-time job with a Biscuits Company in Malaysia. And because of the lack of focus, uh, because of the com time commitment on the job, like that business just slowly died off because I wasn't treating it like a business. I didn't have the proper supply chain. I didn't have a proper pricing strategy. I didn't have uh, proper marketing resources put into this business. I didn't even have very accurate accounting, to be honest. But um, 
Somewhere along the way, I decided that I need to treat my online business like a business. And ever since I took this step, um, things have changed wonderfully for me, to be honest. So that brings me to point number four, which is uh, no focus. By not having time to build up your business since day one, the chances are you're not going to have a lot of success with your business. The chances are a more committed com competitor will come in and just kill you, kill your business. Um, but having, having no focus and building three or two to three different projects at the same time, you will actually achieve less. Put all your eggs into one basket, unlike whoever said diversification is the key to success. Put all your eggs into one basket, one project in the beginning that you really, really believe can work and see it take off. Um, like I'm, I'm 27 years old this year and being the hot-blooded you know, young, young, young person in a, when I just started off, I always dabble in different, different projects at the same time and that really tired me out. A lot of my mental energy was scattered and along all these different projects and none of them worked out. So if you want to succeed in e-commerce, you need, or business in general to be honest, you need to focus and you need to make it work. Make it, make that business your baby and give it all the care and all the love, the attention it needs to make it succeed. So that brings us to the next point. Uh, a lot of businesses out there, they do not leverage on social proof. So, for those of you who don't know what social proof is, um, let me give you this scenario. Imagine if you walk um, into a restaurant and no one else is in there. You go on to Yelp, there's no reviews and all that. What would you expect from this restaurant? you would expect the unexpected because there's, not, there's nothing to build your expectation upon, right? So consider this other scenario. You walk into a rest. no. Before you find a restaurant, you go to Yelp or TripAdvisor and you see this uh, restaurant with 500 five-star reviews. And when you get there, you see that the place is jam-packed. So what does that say about that restaurant's service and quality? Something to think about. Leveraging on social proof is one of the most important things in e-commerce because people can't see you, people can't touch you, and people can't feel you. The only thing that's um, separating them from giving you their money for your products is just a website. So how would they know if this company is authentic? Is it genuine? Gather all the reviews, um, the testimonials you can get on your product or service and watch your conversion rates skyrocket. It's as simple as that, guys, really. So, um, another mistake with, uh, with newbie Shopify entrepreneurs is that they, they stick with what they know and they don't experiment. When I say they stick it with what they know, like for example, if, like if my business, if your business partner came to you and said, hey, like I'm a specialist in Facebook advertising and you should trust me, this can take off on Facebook. And you being the newbie that you are, you go along with his plan and dump all the ad budget behind Facebook ads. Whereas you might be selling like a fashion product that could be doing a lot better advertising on stuff like Instagram and Pinterest, visual platforms. So even though it's very, very important to focus on one business, you have to experiment on the different possibilities that are available for your business. For example, my, my business was built on uh, Google SEO, on SEO, content marketing, all the way in the beginning. And then after that, we've hit um, it's still one of the best revenue generators for us, but after that, we started implementing email marketing and social media strategies, uh, marketing strategies, and we've seen our business take off. 
email and social media are one of the, our biggest revenue contributors right now. So focus on your business, like focus on your business, but experiment on marketing channels and different way to do things. Running a business is not easy. You have to keep experimenting, finding the better way to do things and doing it better than your competitors. And it's just an endless loop of innovation and thinking of new ways of doing things. For example, right now I have a team running the show for me and I've already processed all of this. They innovate and they will always find new ways to doing things. And I can just, you know, come into office in the middle of lunch and go back by 4 p.m. for example. So experiment and always try to outdo yourself and build a team that actually believes in what you do. I think that is very, very important. So that brings us to our last point. It's a bit interrelated with the point number two, which is poor branding. Um, a lot of companies I know, they just upload the products, they take the photos, they upload the products, but they don't spend a lot of time on their about page. Having, having a very well-constructed about page can do wonders for your e-commerce store. You know why? Back to branding. If you have a well-constructed about page that tells your company stories, your story, why you, why you guys are doing this, what kind of causes you guys support, it would give a glimpse into what people, um, a glimpse into your business that people can know, like people can relate to. And when people relate to you, you build a personal relationship with that person. And that is what you want in e-commerce. By having a well-constructed about page, people will be able to, you know, connect with your brand. They'll be able to love your brand a lot more. And they will also be more willing to give you money for their product, you know. So that sums up uh, this video. So just to recap, point number one, never have a build it and they will come attitude. Number two, focus, um, don't invest time into your branding. And number three, you need to treat your online store like a business. Number four, focus on one business. Don't spread, don't go the shotgun approach. Um, point number five, Always leverage on social proof. Let your customers do the talking. And um, point number six, not experimenting enough in terms of marketing channels. And number seven, not spending time on your about page. If you take all of this, implement it onto your online store, I guarantee you that you will achieve better results. Okay, so that's, pretty much it for this video. This is my first video and if you like what you see, remember to like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any thoughts or you don't agree, you agree or don't agree with me, you can also leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. Peace out guys.